Hi, this is Eric with MobileMustHave.com, and today we're here to talk to you about the Parsec Belgian Shepherd roof antenna. Now, this is a 7-in-1 roof antenna. It's a high-performance antenna, and it's in a long, slender form factor. Come along with us, and we'll tell you all about it. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. So the Belgian Shepherd in this particular format, and this is the one we typically carry and sell to most of our customers, is a seven-in-one antenna. Now this has seven cellular elements or cellular antennas built into this housing. It has two Wi-Fi antennas for picking up local Wi-Fi and broadcasting local Wi-Fi for your devices or to pick up campground Wi-Fi, etc. And it has a GPS antenna element. Uh, th that makes this a perfect uh, match for our 5G uh, single modem devices, our category 20 single modem devices, basically our Speed Demon series. And it also makes it a very good match for our Ultimate Road Warrior series, where we have two uh, embedded cellular modems, each of which will use two of the four cellular antennas. Uh, so this is a really good match for just about all of our mid to high-end bundles. You could also use this in our entry-level full-timer uh, type bundles as well. You just end up with two additional cellular antennas and you'd be future-proofing your installation. So Parsec has a lot of different form factors in terms of what they offer. The Belgian Shepherd is known as their top high performance antenna in this long, narrow form factor. Uh, to give you guys an idea of size, this is 15 or 14.9, I think, inches long, about two and a half inches high, and width-wise, almost four inches. I think it's 3.8 inches. If you hop over to the listing page, go to the documentation tab, there will be detailed specifications on the unit, but that's pretty close to the size of this. Um, to give you guys an idea, like this is our top uh, kind of performance antenna that we see in the RV space uh, that we sell a ton of. This is the Parsec Husky. Uh, and this works very well for most of our customers, but it is a, a 10 inch uh, or so um, diameter antenna. And for certain applications or for van use or because you're a little bit close on space because of solar panels or whatnot. Uh, the Belgian Shepherd can be a alternative form factor that is very close, very close to the performance of the Husky. Um, you know, you can obviously check in the, the detailed specifications, but just kind of high level, I'd say the Husky is top, top performance. The Belgian Shepherd would be a close, close second um, in terms of just overall performance. And then if you wanted to go even thinner and narrower, check out the Australian Shepherd. There's a different video for the Australian Shepherd that'll go into that, but that kind of gives you an idea of sort of the top form factors. There's also one in between this and the Australian called the canine that looks very similar to this. It's just lower profile. And with that lower profile, you're gonna gain uh, some benefits at high speeds for police vehicles, uh, cruisers and whatnot. If you gotta you know, really get, get up in speed uh, or you wanna get below a light bar, uh, the canine is very popular. But for today's video, we're gonna talk about the Belgian Shepherd because, because of this added size in height, um, and, and just sort of the overall increase in size over the Australian, this is really a top performance antenna for receiving those cellular signals. The Belgian Shepherd is a uh, true six to six antenna, meaning that it goes from 600 megahertz or 617 megahertz up to six gigahertz. So it's gonna give you support for 5G as well as support for those lower frequencies, the 600 megahertz frequencies popular uh, with T-Mobile and their rural band. So the, uh, the Belgian Shepherd's gonna get you covered across pretty much everything from a uh, spec perspective. If you look at the specifications in this device, you will see that some of the gain numbers are actually higher than on the Husky, um, but then you'll see some of the uh, radiated efficiency on the Husky is a little bit better than this. So um, that can be a little confusing for folks. This has higher gain numbers. Does that mean this performs better than the Husky? They're really, really close. They're neck and neck. It's hard to tell the difference. So we really tell folks to focus on the form factor here if you're trying to make a decision on what the best antenna is for you. We order the Belgian Shepherd in kind of four primary configurations, but for special order customers, we can order this in just about anything you want. There is oftentimes a minimum order quantity if you're 
you know, getting something a bit unique, but you can always let us know. But the stuff that we typically stock in the Belgian Shepherd is gonna be our seven foot cable length and our 15 foot cable length, uh, so that you kind of have those options. And we also stock it in black and in white. So seven foot 15, black or white, any combination of those, we carry them in stock. We order these antennas with this short bolt configuration here. You notice that bolt is very short. Um, for RV applications, and for the applications our customers use, typically the roof structure that you're mounting this to is gonna be four or five inches thick and no antenna manufacturer really creates a, a bolt that long. Because of the weight of these cables and because of the weight of this antenna, because of this ultra strong adhesive 3M tape that is pre-installed on the bottom of this antenna, uh, you could just disregard this locking nut and this washer during the installation. We've got plenty of videos showing you how to do that with various um, different manufactured antennas. They're all the same. We've got five plus years of antennas up on roofs that are mounted with just cleaning off that roof, uh, removing this bolt, uh, sticking down the antenna with that adhesive and then die coring around it and just making sure those antennas have a nice good amount of slack into the RV and that will ensure you don't have any water problems. Another reason we order with this short bolt configuration that you see here is because that allows this antenna to be compatible with the optional magnet mount kit which you see here. There are four magnets uh, here and then there's a hole in the center and this antenna can mount essentially right to that and then that locking bolt will hold it together. And because of that short bolt uh, on the bottom, the cables can twist to the side and come out the side of the magnet mount this way for a magnet mount installation, if that's something of interest to you. The uh, Belgian Shepherd also supports the pole mount option as well with that short bolt configuration. So if you did want to put this up on a pole, you can. Uh, there, there might be some better antennas to choose from if you're looking at a pole mount application. I, I tend to look at the, um, the Parsec Akita, which is an omnidirectional pole mount cellular antenna that's ultra high performance. But if you're looking for something um, in this configuration, or maybe you're going to have it magnet mount and then you want to switch it to pole or whatnot, uh, the Belgian Shepherd could be an excellent fit for you. The Belgian Shepherd, like other high performance Parsec antennas, comes with that LSR 200 high performance cable pre-installed on the unit. Uh, again, if you can, always go with a shorter length antenna wire. Uh, we recommend that you get that seven foot if you can, um, but the 15 will get you pretty solid performance as well. If you can though, don't go above 15 feet just because you're going to lose a lot of the performance and the gain of the antenna by adding extra cable because that cable creates a lot of loss. The Belgian Shepherd is technically what we'd consider a ground plane optional antenna. It will perform and work without a ground plane. Um, if you don't know what a ground plane is, scroll down in the listing page and there's a section on ground planes, but keeping it kind of simple for a minute, it's a sheet of metal uh, you know, conductive metal, typically aluminum or steel that's mounted below the antenna. And basically it helps when radio waves are coming across horizontally across the earth, it helps them bounce into the antenna. Uh, it's a little more complicated than that, but that's, that's basically what a ground plane is. It's a plane below the antenna that helps the antenna performance wise. Uh, we sell a number of different ground planes. Um, the one that uh, is most popular is a 16 inch round ground plane, but because this antenna is 15 inches long, you're just not getting a lot of ground plane coverage on these higher areas. So we do recommend you take a look at uh, the Parsec ground plane. This is a new for 2022 product that is super cool. You're like, there's a ground plane in there? I know, there's a separate video for this that you can check out. But at a high level, this is a 20 inch by 20 inch adhesive ground plane. And it this is capable of working in outdoor installation applications. Essentially, you can clean the roof, uh, go ahead and roll this out. There's an ultra, ultra sticky, weather resistant uh, 3M style adhesive here on the back. And then you can cut this to any size necessary if you've got a unique mounting installation, or you can just leave it 20 by 20 if you wanna maximize the performance of this antenna. Again, ground plane optional, it will work without it, but if you can add a ground plane, if you're uh, installing this in a non-metal roof uh, application, this will help improve the performance. 
for a detailed list of specifications on this product, go ahead and hop over to the listing page and click on the documentation tab, which will give you a link to the manufacturer specifications with all of the details on the performance specification data. If you're thinking about purchasing this product or any product on mobilemusthave.com, we highly recommend that you check out our membership programs. Membership programs give you discounts on everything on our store. Uh, they give you access to the dogs in the warehouse. No, just kidding. Uh, they give you access to discounts on mobile data plans. And probably most importantly, they give you access to the Mobile Internet Resource Center at rvmobileinternet.com, which includes forum access for asking more advanced troubleshooting technical support questions. That forum is staffed by myself and other team members. So if you want to take a look at the memberships, typically they will pay for a mobile internet purchase or the mobile internet purchase will pay for the cost of the membership on your first purchase. It's really something worth taking a look at. Uh, lots of savings there, upgraded shipping, all sorts of stuff, too much to kind of list. But if you go to membership.mobilemusthave.com, there's different membership level options um, with different benefits. Just check that out before you make a big purchase. Uh, that could save you some money and some headaches and some time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any questions about this product or any product on our website, please make sure to reach out via chat in the bottom right hand corner to speak to a representative. You can also email us at info at and we will see you on the road. Thanks so much for watching.